everyone my name is Kishan and welcome to my video series on git before starting git let's look at what version control system is version control system also known as revision control system or source control system is a set of code that helps you to keep track of files or a set of files in other word what it means is say suppose you have a template that template can be anything it can be a word document it can be an excel sheet it can be a piece of html that you need now you do some revision on this and now the original file is updated you do some more revision on it and save it so now you have the second version of it now can you from the second version go back to the original file say suppose after doing multiple changes you face an issue and now you want the original version of the file back you can if you have saved the file in some other location but a version control system basically keeps track of all the changes that are happening on a file or a set of file what it allows you to do is it allows you to look back to the original file to the previous version or to the very first version from where you started tracking the file so in short a version control system keeps snapshots of each and every change that has been done on the file so that if you mess up you can look back and go back to the original version there are many more advantages other than this let's take a scenario say there is a file which is currently updated by two different users at the end the file is one the changes of both the users need to be merged so let's look at some features of version control system version control system has features like as we talked it reverses the changes to the previous state so suppose you have made some changes and now you want to go back to the previous version it will help you to do that it can also look at other people's contribution so in the previous example when we saw that there are there is one file and two different users working on it a vcs would eventually tell what were the changes done by which user it also helps you to compare the changes the compare the changes between two users and also two versions and at the end the most crucial is merging the changes merge is a very good concept what it tells us say suppose you have 100 set of files and user 1 updates five files from that user 2 updates another five files if both the users have updated totally different files no overlapping files between both the users a simple merge would let you get changes of both the users into your a uh, final set say suppose the users have some common files that they have updated in that case merge will show you some difference it will show you okay in the first user this is what he has written the second user has written this what you want to keep maybe you want to keep both of them maybe you want to discard one of those changes so it helps you to merge it all those changes very easily and effectively otherwise you have to open both the files near to each other and look at each and line of the code and see what was original what did user one do or did user two do so this is one of the main or most important feature that a version control system gives basically there are two kinds of version control system centralized one and distributed there is also third one we'll look at all of these in the next video